Hello, fellow Bridgerton fans. I hope you are all doing well. Welcome to another video. Today, we are revealing six details that only the biggest Bridgerton fans noticed in Season 3. Number 6. Colin's Neck Stock From the beginning of the series, Colin Bridgerton has consistently worn neck clothes in shades of white, blue, and black. However, in Episode 1 of Season 3, he surprises viewers by donning a green neck stock. In the previous season, Penelope wore green to symbolize her hidden desire for Colin, as green represents the blend of the Featherington yellow and the Bridgerton blue. This time, Colin is the one sporting green, a departure from his usual color palette. This wardrobe choice raises intriguing questions. Has Colin perhaps unconsciously begun to recognize his feelings for Penelope? Number 5. Penelope's Dress Eagle-eyed fans know that Penelope's dresses often carry deeper meanings, so it's no surprise they quickly notice something special in Season 3. Penelope is seen wearing a dress that looks strikingly similar to one she wore back in Season 1. Bridgerton costume designers confirm that it's actually the same dress with a few added details. When we first see Penelope, she is still wearing her citrus colors. We reworked one of her old dresses from a previous season and just added more embellishment to it. Number 4. The Series Intro Each season features a unique symbol that tells a story about the main character. In Season 1, we see candles and dueling guns. The candles symbolize Daphne's innocence and femininity. They also play a major role in her story with the Duke, especially during one of their confessions when she tells him, I burn for you. The dueling guns are equally significant, as the duel between Simon and Anthony is a crucial turning point in her story with the Duke. In Season 2, we see the Paul Mall game, which is a major plot point in Anthony and Kate's story. Later, we see a watch, a significant possession of Anthony's. In the Season 3 intro, we see a butterfly, a symbol closely associated with the Featheringtons, particularly Penelope. Throughout the series, we've seen Penelope wear gowns adorned with butterfly embellishments starting from Season 1. The butterfly symbolizes transformation and growth, much like Penelope's journey. Additionally, we see a hot air balloon, another significant symbol in Colin and Penelope's story. Number 3. Introduction of Leading Characters In the opening sequence, we always find Lady Whistledown's signature right up on the tree with the name of a Bridgerton sibling highlighted in the center. This subtle detail sets the tone for the season ahead, hinting at which sibling's story will take center stage. In the first season, we see Daphne's name highlighted. The second season shifts focus to Anthony, as indicated by his name taking the spotlight. Now, in the third season, we find Colin's name at the center, suggesting that his journey will be a central focus of the season. Number 2. Penelope's Fingernails Fans were quick to notice a remarkable change in Penelope's fingernails within a short span of five minutes. After leaving the ballroom heartbroken from Lord Debling's cancelled proposal plans, Penelope is seen outside wiping away her tears. In this scene, she sports a fresh set of nude almond acrylic nails. However, just five minutes later, while in the carriage, her nails appear noticeably shorter. Number 1. Penelope's Hair Clip Fans were left puzzled by a continuity error involving Penelope's hair clip. During a pivotal scene, after being bullied by Cressida at Lady Danbury's ball, Penelope walks outside visibly upset and removes her hair clip, throwing it to the ground. However, just one minute later, we see her writing an issue of Lady Whistledown with the same hair clip securely in her hair. This discrepancy raised questions among fans, as they had witnessed Penelope walking away from the scene without her hair clip. The mystery of when and how Penelope retrieved her hair clip became a topic of speculation and discussion among avid viewers.